everyone. Today we will go through 7.4, number 37. For a given series, we need to figure out a convergence or the divergence. In this particular section, there are two techniques involved, divergence test and integral test. It is always a good idea to start with the divergence test because it will help us to justify it if divergence happens. Okay, so we will start with this one. The key is to evaluate the limit of the general term, obviously, or we could apply the Lobtos rule to get the limit equal to zero. Then from the divergence test statement, then this test will fail. That means we're gonna to use some other technique. The next one we could try will be the integral test. There are several conditions we're going to ratify. But the idea is to extend the definition of the sequence to be a function. All right. So it makes sense to define a function ax like this. It is relatively straightforward to verify the continuity, post-continuity, and also whenever we do switch the function to k, it would recover a k. The last one, which is usually more involved, we would like to establish the convert uh, the monotonicity, actually the decreasing behavior of the function ax by taking the derivative of a of x, and we could utilize the quotient rule for derivative. And a little bit analysis here is since that eventually it will be less than zero. Of course, to be more precise, that means whenever x larger than the number e. Okay, so we do not have the global decreasing. However, it is eventually decreasing. Indeed, this is the essential things that we would need for the integral test, all right? Roughly speaking, we only care about the asymptotic behavior, so eventually decreasing should be suffice, all right? All right, now, based on the statement of the integral test, the, the original series and this in proper integral has almost equivalent convergence or divergence behavior, all right? So we just need to evaluate this integral. What we could do would be the u substitution, right? Follow the standard calculation. We can figure out the limit equal to post infinity, or you can, we can say this in proper integral diverges, all right? That being said, the original series will also diverge. Okay, so this is how we approach this problem. A very quick recap. The first step is always to apply divergence test. If divergence test works, right? That means the original series diverges, then we're, we're done. Otherwise, we need to use some other tests. Okay, in the future section, we will learn more tests. All right, so later you're gonna to for, uh, figure out uh, a list of the tests that you would like to try and I'll try to follow that order, okay? Thanks for watching.